Crystal Wire with Infinity Discs. I'm going to show you multiple ways how to delete stuff, or chop up clips and video. Um, the, the easiest way is to basically hit your knife tool by pressing C. Or you can click the tool, you can click the knife tool in your toolbar. Um, it's basically right in the, or the razor too, or right in the middle. But anyway, you can just hit keyboard shortcut C. And you want to make sure that your uh, link selected selection button, bam, right there. Make sure that is on, because if you, if it's not on, and then you click in um, on your video or the audio, it's just going to select one or the other. Um, if it's on, and you click in the timeline or on the video, it'll select both the audio and the video. Um, so anyway, once you've got it clipped, click on whatever you want, and then I always lasso it right there, select over it, hit ripple delete, so it basically closes up that area. So if you had... Um, uh, so if you just click delete, it'll, it'll leave a gap in there, and you don't want that. But another way to do it is to, uh, is to mark your in and out and, um, in the video. And uh, then you can uh, hit your lift tool, and it will... I'll do it here in just a second. Got your in and out selected, then you hit the lift tool. It's right above the timeline in between that and the, and the, and the monitor. Bam, right there. Right there. S select your in by hitting I. And then you'll want to select your out by hitting by hitting an O. The areas you don't want in there. Bam, there you go. There's my in and out. Click lift. I'll just take that sucker out. Then you want to come back there, right click in there, hit ripple delete, and that'll close up that area. Bam. Easy way, it's easy to delete clips, I mean, delete uh, audio and video.